guys, welcome to my channel. It is Amy Esther here, and today I wanted to share with you my daily cleaning routine, how I keep my house clean while living with several chronic illnesses. So as you can see, the first thing I like to do in the morning is do the dishes and then just kind of pick up the kitchen a little bit. So I have postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or POTS, which makes it really hard for me to do anything in the morning. I get really sick. So I wake up around 5.30 or 6 and then around 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm feeling good enough to get some dishes done. And I usually like to do them while my daughter is eating. Unfortunately, she did not last very long. So she is helping me with the dishes and it does make it a little harder, but I don't want to discourage her from helping with chores because I want her to have good positive thoughts about chores. I wanted to share a few tips for doing dishes if you have pots. Um, or orthostatic intolerance. So some of the things that I have done to help myself do dishes is first of all, to make it smaller loads. I try to do it twice a day, every day, in order to not have it pile up too much. I used to just let it sit until I couldn't stand it anymore and I'd have so many dishes and I'd get so sick every time I did the dishes. So now I make sure I do it more regularly. And then also I will do some squats. I didn't actually do them this day because I was feeling pretty good but if I do start to feel sick or I have too many dishes to do, I will start exercising a little bit, do some strength exercises in between the dishes. So I typically don't immediately dry my hand wash dishes unless I have someone coming over or something like that. But usually I let them sit for a little bit and then later in the day, I will actually dry them and put them away. It's just, I don't know, an extra step that I'd rather not do. a concept called the minimum baseline and it is basically just the minimum you will do something even if you're feeling terrible and you have a lot to do that day these are the things that you'll do no matter what I have a few videos on it I talk about it quite a bit but it's really helped me especially with having several chronic illnesses so my minimum baseline for cleaning the kitchen is to wipe down the countertops do the dishes twice a day and vacuum the floors. So that means that every day, no matter what, no matter how I'm feeling, I still have to do those things. And I'm to the point now where it's just such a routine that I don't even think about it. Even if I'm not feeling good, I don't have any excuses not to do that. my stuff that I do every day, like the dishes, wiping down the counters, vacuuming, putting away toys, making the bed, those things, but each weekday has its own special task. So I just assign them based on my schedule, what works best for our family. And we do Mondays is kind of my whole house clean day because it's usually the messiest and I don't have time to do anything specific. So it usually takes me a little bit longer to do my general cleaning stuff. So Monday's just kind of a general cleaning day. Tuesdays is my laundry day. Wednesdays is my floor cleaning day, which happened to be the day I made this video, which is why I'm doing an extra good job at vacuuming the floors because I'm going to mop them. And so I focus all of my energy on the floors. Thursday is bathroom day. So that's the day I do a really deep clean of the bathroom, shower, tub, toilet, all of that. And then Friday is the bedroom day. And that's when I do a good deep clean of our bedrooms and we have our office in our bedroom. And so it's office, bedrooms, all of that all in one day. 
And then Saturday is my project day. So if I ever have a project, like I want to deep clean a closet, then I usually do that on a Saturday. And then I have my husband, if he needs to watch my daughter or needs to help me, we're all there to work on the project. So by giving each day its own thing, it seems a lot less scary. And having it in a routine, I just know what's going to come up. I know when I need to clean what certain thing. I know that once I get through Tuesday, laundry day I don't have to worry about it again for an entire week to make my bed every single day I usually like to do it first thing in the morning that doesn't always happen so if I don't get it done first thing in the morning I just do it during my normal cleaning time and if you have not seen my video about the block system this is how I block out my day and it's how I know when to clean and how much to clean so I will link that video and my minimum baseline video in the description below so that you can learn a little more about productivity and how I get things done with my chronic illnesses most of my cleaning block is while my daughter is awake, but there are two things that I do while she sleeps. So when she goes down, whether she's taking a nap or going to bed, I always put all of her toys away. So I have a really easy system where I just have a bunch of bins. They don't have really much of an organization system because she just messes it up anyways. So I just throw them all in bins and it's cleaned up in no time. And then the second thing I do is just pick up the bathroom. And since it's not my bathroom cleaning day, I don't do full on cleaning. I will wipe down the sink and wash the toilet if it needs it. If not, I just put everything away that is on our sink. We are now to the middle of the day when I do my second round of dishes. I like to do them right before my husband gets home from work and make sure the house looks good for him. He honestly doesn't really care. It's mostly for me. It just makes me feel good. I feel like a good wife when I have a clean home when he comes home. This is the point when I actually dry the dishes that I hand washed. I like to do them right before my husband comes home. So it is nice and clean and the countertops are all clean. Last thing I do every day is clean up after dinner. I do not do the dishes after dinner. I just wipe down the counters, put everything away so it looks clean, but I don't do the dishes because I don't like to waste that time I have with my husband. Sometimes I work in the evening, so it's just not very convenient. I do really well just doing them in the morning. So I just leave those dishes for the next day and that is my cleaning routine. That is what I do every day, ideally. Of course, there are days where I'm really sick and I'm not able to do quite that much. I just always do my minimum baseline. So I will link that below. You can watch that video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.